you get $100 million in your bank on the condition that you cannot travel outside of your home country for 7 years. Additionally you have to remain a citizen of your present country all your life. Will you accept it? Explain why. Yep, you mean I get $100 mil. The only change I make to my life is I wait 2 years longer than I was already planning to for my visit to Japan or Rome. Hell yeah, hand me that hundo mil. You get 100 trillion dollars to breathe air. This is a similar question all too common in this sub. You get infinite money, but you will die peacefully in your sleep 130 years from now. Do you take it? Top answers. No shit. Deal's way too good. No, I don't die soon enough. Yeah, if it was $100,000 then it might be a decent question. I'd probably still do the OP for $100,000, but not $10,000. Honestly just rewording these as how much to X, rather than would you do X for an obscene amount of money, is more interesting. The latter might as well just be does anyone else dream of being handed a ridiculous sum of money? You must be from a third world country that you're asking such a question. Someone offers you 4.3 million to drink a glass of water and browse the internet. Do you do it? I don't know man I'm really more of a soda drinker. Lately I've been drinking those zero calories carbonated flavored water. Good replacements for soda and none of the diabetes. I love the sparkling ice drinks. They're just so expensive. But I can't get into any of the Lacroix or Bubbly or other carbonated water drinks that just taste like slightly flavored seltzer water. Since the US is massive and has all sorts of national parks, cities, and different cultures to see, I could easily stay here traveling for all that time. Not to mention you can still go to Alaska and Hawaii, as well as Puerto Rico, American Samoa, Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands, and the US Virgin Islands. 40% of Americans have never been outside the 50 states. They seem okay with that, and would be super happy to have 100 million dollars. Not to mention, it's only 7 years. Who could have a problem with that? Leaving off the time limitation would make this closer to an actual decision. I'm sorry, but I think this is the dumbest question I ever read on this sub. Oh no I get a shitload of money, but I have to stay in Italy for 7 years. What will I do? Die of covered most likely. We're talking about Italy, not the US. Oh how the tables have turned. Can these questions frick off already? You get a gold plated Ferrari, $10,000 per day, every day. A magical genie that grants wishes without downsides leaves in a coffee cup in your kitchen. And your celebrity crushes your neighbor, but you're destined to stub your toe on a coffee table once. We LL you accept it? EXP lane Y. It's a learning algorithm for bot responses. They're learning. Great question. Really makes you think. Yes. Preach. What kind of dumbass question is this? Redditors of Reddit. Do you want to breathe? Explain why. Except the question above is 3x more interesting. Seriously, who wouldn't accept that? You get massive amount of money on the condition of mild inconvenience. Do you accept? These questions are all stupid. For most people not leaving the country isn't even a mild inconvenience. It's just living normally. In a heartbeat. And most anyone who refuses is an idiot. I don't care what part of the world you're in. 100 million dollars is life changing. Even if you have to stay in a hellhole. I think a much more interesting question would be to try to think of scenarios where you wouldn't take OP's deal. It's hard to think of scenarios where you'd trade 100 million dollars just to be able to travel outside of your country. When you live in a war torn country and staying means you probably won't be alive in a year let alone 7. When you live in Mexico and your cousin works for the cartel so one frick up on his part means you're being used to teach him a lesson. I find it hard to believe that 100 million dollars cash wouldn't solve either of those problems. 
100 million dollars would just make you more of a target, because while money can give you options it doesn't always give you power. You get an insane amount of money for a minor inconvenience. Why do people indulge this shit? It's up there with the people of Reddit. How do you feel about this extremely popular thing? Questions. I don't know why people keep upvoting those things. People of Reddit. How do you feel about a forcing senior citizens to have to drive as test every few years? People of Reddit. How would you feel about banning radio commercials with cahonks? People of Reddit. How are you? Men of Reddit. What do you like about women? non -exil? Men of Reddit. What would you like to be less stigmatized? People of Reddit. What is your best Excel story? Can somebody ban these repetitive? Hive mind circle jacking posts. God yes. I'm putting it my bank. Keep working for 7 years. Then buy a boat and go travel the world. I won't work for a single day with 100 million. I would take all kinds of classes for the next 7 years and just do what I like without spending much. Then buy an island 7 years later. 2 million a year for 50 years? Even if you didn't even try to get even a 1% return? Yeah I'd focus on doing what I want to do. Frick working to live. With a medium risk investment fund. You'll pull in 5 million a year in just interest. I'm from India. I'd take this deal no questions asked. India is massive. You'd need multiple leaves to see all of India. And 100 US dollars mil is like 700 CR rupee. 7 billion rupees. Let's assume half of it is tax. Which means I'll be able to spend 1 lakh rupees. 100,000 rupees. Every day for 100 years. So it's a no brainer. I'd take it. Even if you change the condition to never leave the country ever. I already completed those tasks. Give me money. Going on a 26 year streak. Can we get 100 mil per 7 years? LOL. Yes, because I live in a first world country so, um. Yes, because Germany is a great country to live in. Not after I'm done with it. You already had your chance. Yes, because I'm not an idiot. As an American citizen I would take it. You could travel around for 7 years and still not see everything. Always worth it. Every country is really two countries. One for the rich, one for the pool. So I'm actually leaving my home country and getting to see a new one. Yeah, I hardly leave my country anyways and like being a citizen. Why would anyone upvote this garbage? There are worse places than France to be stuck with 100 million dollars. I live in Canada it's huge, for 100 meters he'll stay here 7 years no problem. I have young kids not like I'm traveling anyways. You telling me you will give me 100 million dollars to live my life the exact same way I have my entire life? Am I use that money to reshoot the ending of Avengers Endgame so that it ends with Ant-Man going up Thanos' booty and growing? If you got money, a third world country is the best. You can freaking enjoy everything. You can practically own your country. So I will be fine. Um. You do realize Reddit has a lot of Americans who never leave their country in a lifetime? There is literally nothing I wouldn't do for a hundred million dollars. What the frick kind of stupid ass question is this? You know the freaking answer you karma whore. I mean, I live in Canada. 
I could see every inch of my own beautiful country in 7 years and $100 mil would last me a lifetime. Where's the challenge? 7 years investing the money wisely, keeping some back just in case, learning different languages, traveling the US, and planning out the rest of my life being a world traveling philanthropist? Of course. The alternative is, I work full time for shit wages, get one week of vacation time a year where I might be able to take a small, local vacation possibly to a neighboring state, and if I'm lucky I'll live long enough to go on Medicare where my prospects of world travel is Mexican night at the local bingo. The better question is who wouldn't accept it? All the ellipses for you, um. Yeah I've never left the country. It's basically 100 mil to go on business as usual. Absolutely. I can remain a Canadian and travel, live elsewhere after the 7 years and probably only have to come back to Canada on occasion. 7 years is nothing. Show me the money. I think I could spend 7 years traveling in Canada and never get bored. And being forced to be a Canadian citizen after? Okay, I'm not planning on changing that either. Yep, yeah, simple, I am Canadian. Great country to live in. Lots to explore. Room to roam. Diverse. Yes, because it's a great freaking deal. I would. I have no freaking life. Yes. I live in the United States. Easiest yes of my life. Subscribe and click the notification bell to get the best of British.